Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, April 2nd, uh, 2018, and uh, today has been kind of a slower, lazy day as well, which is amazing. Uh, I went for a four-mile run because it's the fourth run, and why not? Um, if it's getting really humid out, it's kind of gross. Um, I definitely, well, maybe not definitely, but I definitely... I definitely passed a, vi uh, a truck carrying a lot of pigs, and the pigs were screaming, so it makes me think that something bad was about to happen. I didn't like that very much. But, anyway, um, had a good run. Um, survived, again. Um, and I just wanted to share with you um, uh, just uh, one of the... just something that happened last night. So, uh, today is my birthday, and my mom went gave me a present. Um, so... Um, she went to the Pokemon Center store while she was stranded in Japan on the first leg of her layover. And I just wanted to show everyone this bag. This bag is super duper cute. So, on um, the front, this is a... Uh, oh, I don't know this... This, um... This, um... The flower Pokemon? It's like a ring. I don't know what it is. It's not a Floet, because that's what I thought it was at first, but... Um, I've seen it in the games, I just haven't... I've caught one, but I don't remember what it's called. Oh, look at Pikachu, he's so cute. And then on the other side here are the Alolan starters. Little Rowlets right there too. And then inside the bag, there's a little Cutifly in the corner, which I think is just the most adorable thing ever. Cutifly is great. Um, it's one of my favorites, and I had him on my in my first uh, Pokemon Moon game, so pretty sweet. So they also gave these little bags. I don't know if you can see it. So there's these little little bags, so they're kind of like the same thing. Um, but inside, they they gave us these little postcards with Pikachu. Once. So here are these little Pikachu cards. They're not really postcards. I think they're Team Rocket ones, because they have the big R. Rainbow Rocket! This is Rainbow Rocket. It's, I think, the new game that I haven't really played yet, because I'm a terrible Pokemon player. But um, these are really cute, because if you look really closely, they're like cutouts. So if you wanted to, you could pop these out. You could pop these out, and then they would make like a 3D, 3D pop-out character if you fold it. I'm just having trouble. There, through the magic of editing. So if I folded it all the way, it would come out. So you would have a card that had a Pikachu that came out, which is pretty sweet. These Pikas are very menacing, but they're pretty cute as well. And the last thing that my mom got me was this um, amazing box of Pikachu figurines. And they are super duper cute. So you can see here all the different styles. There's like a Pikachu riding a car. It's a floral Pikachu, a Pikachu in a rain jacket, um, on a Pokeball, you know, and then there, there's one balloon, so they're all, and they have like these little brick things on the bottom, so they're like a parade, so you can like, they all have this little like arrow shaped brick thing that they sit on, and then you assemble them and put them together, so inside the box there's 10 of them, so we already opened these last night, so it's a little bit less exciting because I've already done this, but um, you can see it. So they all kind of sit here. My mom wanted the entire set, and you, you take a box out, and then you put your thumb through here, break it open, and it pops open. And then you can go in and pull out the figure. So this figure is the Pikachu blimp. And you can see it has two separate pieces. Um, the, this is the arrow-shaped figure. And then here is the little Pikachu, and he um, sits, he will sit on this piece. Oh, and there's a little plastic piece so that he can float in the air. But there's Pikachu inside the blimp, and Pikachu with like a little uh, thing on the bottom. So each one of these boxes has, has uh, a little figurine in it, and when I get back to the States, I'm going to set them up, and um, they're going to have a little parade. So if you want to see them... Come hang out with me, and you can see the little parade of Pikas. I don't really know where I'm going to put them yet, but there. Anyway, so this is um, the first birthday present. It's the cutest birthday present. Um, I've always wanted to go to the Pokemon Centers in Japan, and, like, I've been to the one in um, in Rockefeller, but uh, this is, this. it's not quite the same. This is just so cute, and I just, I thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. And you see all the little ones on the side. They have the little designs. They even have a Mimikyu, which I think is insane, because Mimikyu is so cute. The little story behind what a Mimikyu is. So, 
Yeah. I think Raincoat is probably one of my favorites because he has a little Pikachu like uh, figurine on the tail. I think it's supposed to be like a cast form. I don't really know. Sorry, I'm nerding out about Pokemon right now. So, but they're so sweet, so cute. So we're standing out. We're standing outside the 7-Eleven waiting for the bus and this gentleman just pulled up in his big giant SUV and parked in the space reserved for the buses. To be fair, so are all the other cars on the left and right. But I am throwing shade at him because his parallel parking job is atrocious. He's not even close to being on the street. Correction, on the sidewalk. Or at least, you know, He's not even out of the street. He's just straight up on it. Right. So mommy found this uh, this place at the outlet malls near the HSR. Um, so it's an all-you-can-eat Japanese barbecue uh, thing. So they have like the plates in the middle and people are grilling it themselves. And then we just eat it. So it's all-you-can-eat. It's about... Nate's birthday. Yeah, my birthday. Me. It's like 22 US, so 700 NT. Um, so on the pricier side, but it's all you can eat, so hopefully we won't have to eat for the rest of the day. And uh, it's, uh, we're, it's a really nice area, air conditioned, so that's great. And it's like 12.30, so I'm starving because I want to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> In Chinese, I don't know what's going on. Mommy is a rock star. So the, the waitress was going over the menu, so there's two different menus, and she explained it super fast Mandarin, and like, and it was like so, so uh, um, quick and clear about it, but it was just a lot, and Mommy was just like keeping up and then also explaining it to me, and so I'm, I'm on, I'm on board, I, I'm, Mommy is my hero, my hero, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna get this all you can eat. And what they do is they bring out the first round, and then like this is already kind of warm. Um, so they, then you cook everything on the on the skillet, and then after that's all done, then you get more, or you can order more, and they'll bring it. And you, the time limit is two hours. I think we'll be done in two hours. Yeah, we're good. we're. We our, our diets are not not good. We said we said like two days ago yeah. we were gonna stop eating, yes. but it's my birthday, so calories don't count. Kinda, sure. There's that first round of appetizer and salad. Yum. The meat has arrived, and also the, the cabbage. But so mommy's on the phone with Uncle Peter, so we haven't started eating yet. But I think I might start grilling it. But I don't think I know what I'm doing, so yeah, we'll see. Despite what mommy says, she is the master chef. I am. I am. But she's getting all the pieces with the broil, with a nice sear on it. And she's the pro. So quick, she knows when things are done. I don't know when things are done. I always think they're done, and they're not really. I am. Why? <laughs> because you're beautiful. So we finished eating. She doesn't believe me. But we finished eating. Um, and we are waiting for dessert. We didn't stuff ourselves. Which is a plus. But I want to give a quick review of the Coke Zero here. Because the Coke Zero here is not as fizzy. So it actually goes down easier. And it's, um, it's not as sweet. So it actually tastes better. And I was a little skeptical. Because I was going to get regular Coke. Because I know regular Coke is better. But I wasn't sure about the Coke Zero because, I mean, it's Coke Zero, they put like weird chemicals in it. Um, but it actually tastes pretty good. So I um, I give it uh, two, th uh, yeah, half a thumb up. So like, one out of four stars. Because it's still pop, so that knocks it down a, a star. And it's, I don't know. I just need a cat because I know I'm going to food coma because we just ate like 3,000 calories worth of meat. So this is a ice cream with soybean powder. I heard mommy say huang sik when the lady asked which flavor I wanted. But it's, it's good. It smells like peanuts, but it tastes, I would say better than peanut. And then mommy got a red bean with, uh, with the mochi balls inside. And it's, it also is very good. Mm. 
the restaurant that we were in is part of this Gloria Outlets shopping mall. So there's a central plaza, which is quite nice, and then there's a whole bunch of like arms that continue out and have additional shops. So this is just a lot of outlet malls. We um, tend to not shop here because it's just really expensive compared to US, which sounds crazy because it's, it's Taiwan, but clothing here tends to be a little bit more expensive. But it's very nice. It's very like Simon Outlet Mallsy, but but just a little different. So we were we were up here on the top up there, um, just eating. Uh, there's some fancier restaurants up there too. But yeah, it's nice. It's pleasant. But we're gonna head to Zhongli. So we finished lunch and we went to Zhongli, where we bought stuff. But we were like, we had buyer's regret because we found it for cheaper. But we're not gonna worry about that. Then we went back to the 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 Sangda and we I took a nap and mommy packed. And now we're going to I Cafe to meet up with Uncle Peter. Right? Did I get mm -hmm. that right? Yes. Correct. And mommy is driving and she hasn't died yet. So please pray for us. <laughs> up ahead is uh, NCU. It's up on top of a hill and this is the big boulevard on both left and right that kind of tells you that you're going there. It's pretty cool. I think there's lots of pokey stops. We are back at the uh, NCU cafe. This is the, the Mandarin group where they come and play games and say hi. And look who we found. We found Uncle, Uncle Peter. We're having a nice time of catch up and see each other and, and talk. Uncle Peter just came in, so we have uh, we have like one like six hours of overlap. <laughs> so it's nice that we can just sit and catch up. It's very nice. So, mommy is dropping me off at this giant restaurant called uh, KT Mart Dai Dai Yan. Da Yun Fa. Da um, there, there's the symbol. Da Yun. Da Yun. Yeah, whatever. But and there's on the other side, there's also another farm. Are you sure this isn't a like a a night market? Hold on, hold on. On the other side. We we, we have to drive like a few hours. Uh, a few minutes to. Oh, that's up. There's to a the market. I know, but there's one like right across the street. That's how I was like. Yeah. Sure. Or you could probably turn around in here at least if you're gonna leave. Right, you're just gonna drop me off. Anyway, I'm gonna explore for a little bit. Oh, it's a wire. Yo, wire. Yep. There's a spot. We found a spot. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to explore a bit while mommy goes and does her thing. But or her calligraphy class. She's doing a calligraphy. Calligraphy class. Um, I think we're returning this. Uh, but it's. Oh, I'm in the way. Um, but uh, we're gonna go inside, look around. Should be really cool. Apparently it's it's actually it looks really large. It's like it's like the size of a of a of a like a Kmart or a Walmart superstore or something like a super center. But yeah, should be a good fun time. I love capitalism. So this place is like a mall, and then just right to the side, then you have the RT Mart. Okay, bye bye. What? To return stuff? Okay, sounds good. But I'm gonna. So, okay. see you later. Uh, connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line. Yep, yep, yep. So, I'm just gonna go explore. It's gonna be fun. Bye. It's like I'm home. Reunited with mommy after the calligraphy lesson, we are getting some watermelon juice. Sigua. Uh, juice. So it's 35 NT, not bad, but she is juicing it right now. Oh, right there. Mm, very good. So we're kind of thirsty. It'll it'll taste good, I'm sure. I can't read any of these signs. <laughs> so this watermelon juice is actually 25 quad, not 35, and it looks so good. So excited to drink something. Woohoo! Welcome to another night market. Which one is this one? The Zhongyuan. Zhongyuan. 
And we are on the lookout for these little fried balls. I don't know what else to call them. They're like potato balls, but they're fried. But also, we're not like this, super this, hungry, but we should eat something. Is, uh, I should eat something. This is the, the uh, xiao long bao. Ooh, uh, look at that line. The, you have to wait. You have to wait, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's only 55, it's pretty cheap. Oh, QQ, QQ, QQ. So we might get this one. Uh, like, the lighting's all weird on the sign, but it says QQ. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. QQ. QQ. But they have little... Do you want to get it? I'll get it. We should get it. Anyway, we're going to eat stuff. Because, why not? I don't know if you can tell, but let's see if we can watch him. So he's like stirring the, the little potato balls on the bottom pot, which I assume is filled with oil. Then he has this thing on top that he holds up that he like squishes down on top and he presses. He's pressing down right now, you can kind of see it. He's pressing down and he like kind of does a little jiggle to like really get it pressed down and then he keeps moving around. So I don't really get how that works because I thought they were balls which they probably still are, but he keeps pushing down. I don't know exactly how that works. It's just an interesting, interesting thing that it's... So we're at the Shaolong Bao place. That guy is folding the dumpling dough and making it, and then they put it into that machine, and then they put it together right there. They just throw it together, and then they seam it. And they bring it out, and it looks like that. And then here are the potato puffs. There's the making it. Right. Steamer. There's a steamer. Uh, I should probably go in order. Dough. Dough with the uh, making, with the steaming. Very cool. So it's hollow inside. First impressions? Second impressions. Dude, it's like the fried uh, mm, yes. it's the, with the So there's two different colors. There's a darker shade and a lighter shade. Is that one like less fried? Or does it taste the same? It's probably just, right. Maybe they just use a different dough or something. And the shaolong bao, also oh, very good. Right. So both of these are like right. Both of these stands are in the same intersection, and they're like must have for right for this uh, Zhong, Zhongyuan. This is one. Yeah. Zhongyuan night market. This is like fifty-five dollars for seven. And, oh, nice. seven and this is what? 20, 25 for about 7. Yeah. So pretty reasonable. Tastes good. It's a small Oh no. So the little, the little bright, bright, uh, aluminum machine, it cuts the dough and then it drops it in the right spot. You can kind of see it right there. You can see them just fall and they all fall in the exact same spot and they make this giant tower. And then when the dumpling stuffers are ready, they grab the whole stack and they put more on. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's fun to watch the precision of the, the dough fall. <laughs> we walk to a claw machine and look at the giant lotso. And we like, we kind of love it. But there's no way we're ever going to get it. But there's a little lotso on the one next to it. <laughs> just kidding, we're not going to try either. But it's just cute. Hey look, it's Odie's cousin. Hey buddy. So this stand is Dai Cheng, Shao Cheng. So it's a, it's a, uh, this white one on the left is a sticky rice sausage. So they take the, the sausage and then they, they put it, sticky rice on it. And then the other side is the pork sausage. Then they stick it inside. So um, I will get some, and get it, uh, and then they put pepper and stuff in it and it's going to be delicious. I'm very excited. So this is what the sausage looks like. They put the sausage on top and they brush it with the garlic and black pepper sauce that we asked them for. I'm so excited! But also it's like kind of hot and I don't know how I'm going to eat it because I think it might be messy. So mommy is brushing this little egg thing, right? What is it? What is it called? Bird egg. Bird egg. So they grill it in the little pans back there and then they put it on a skewer so they can eat it. Should be good. So he, he just put some eggs on, so he just drops it on top and then it just cooks. So watch him, he'll put it down and he'll turn it and then they all just drop in and then they fry. It's very cool. And that's what they look like. I'm too zoomed in. There we go. That's what they look like. Very good. 
made it back to uh, Sangda. I'm in the uh, in mommy's dorm right now. We had a little bit of a scare because we actually took the wrong way, and then we ended up on a moped lane, and it was a little bit terrifying. But we are alive, thank God, and uh, we are okay. <laughs> uh, so now it's just uh, packing up, uh, getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, it's been a wonderful trip. It's been a wonderful birthday, um, and I couldn't have asked to spend it any other way. Uh, I feel so blessed and loved. So uh, it's been. Uh, great having you guys along the journey with me and so I hope that you all have a wonderful April 2nd as well and uh, I will see you all tomorrow for the 36 hour long April 3rd uh, because I have that plane ride and then the time difference I get another 13 hours back or something like that in San Francisco so it's gonna be a long day uh, but you hopefully you enjoy that as well um, so yeah uh, hopefully you have a wonderful night, uh, a wonderful um, app. Just have a good time, you know. <laughs> I'll see you, everybody. Bye.